Hi guys, so um, you already know by the title of the video. Um, that I had a miscarriage on Mother's Day. Um, probably the worst um, possible day in the entire year to have one. Obviously, no day would be good, but now I'll be reminded every year that this happened. Um, but I just wanted to make a video um, explaining what happened. I'm sorry for my dog <laughs> in the background. He's keeping me company today. Um, I just wanted to get it over with. Um, this did just happen yesterday. Um, I feel like no matter the amount of time, if I waited a week or a month, um, it's still going to suck to talk about. It's still going to be painful. So uh, I just feel like I just, I need to get it over with. Um, um, honestly, I just wanted to make a video because, um, obviously I've never gone through this before, but I know, um, quite a few people that have and, like in my mind, all I thought was, um, you just start bleeding and, um, you end up passing it and not really knowing, um, until you go in for the ultrasound and they tell you, you know, um, uh, the fetus is gone. Um, and maybe it is all different. You know, my cats are fighting. Um, it, I mean, I'm sure it's different for everybody, but I just wanted to explain what happened to me because I had no idea um, how painful it was going to be. Um, so if you watched my previous couple videos, um, last Wednesday night, um, I started spotting. Um, and then the next day on Thursday, I had my first ultrasound and um, I, of course, let them know that I was bleeding. It wasn't a lot. It was a little bit more than spotting, but I wasn't heavy. Um, and they said, you know, that can be normal. Um, they did the ultrasound and I was supposedly eight weeks and I think five or six days um, last Thursday <clears throat> based off of my cycle. But my cycles were so irregular that um, we weren't really sure if that I didn't think that was right at all. I thought that was off by like a week or a week and a half. And I did explain that to her um, after the ultrasound. She did say I was only measuring five weeks and five days, which um, was extremely small. It was only measuring two millimeters. Um, she could tell that I had a heartbeat, but she couldn't get a number. And um, I was supposed to have my urine tested and um, blood work done. But she said because it is so early, um, we'll just wait 10 days, actually 11 days and then repeat the ultrasound, get blood work and everything. And um, so that was the plan. Um, I continued to bleed, um, obviously up until yesterday. Um, it was just consistent, it wasn't a lot, but um, it was just, you know, concerning to me that it wasn't stopping. And um, yesterday we decided um, last minute that we were gonna go to my sister-in-law's house um, for Mother's Day real quick. Um, she lives like an hour and 15 minutes away. Um, and we were only gonna be able to be there for a couple hours and then we had to leave. Um, and I, I felt fine for like the first hour we were there. And then um, I went to the bathroom and I noticed that I was bleeding a little bit more than I had been. So I was getting a little bit concerned, but um, it was, you know, there was nothing I could do. Um, and then I, um, a little bit later, it wasn't very much later, maybe like 20 minutes. I felt the urge that I needed to go to the bathroom again. So I went in and um, there was quite a bit of blood, a lot more than I had been bleeding and I noticed there was like a little a couple little clots in the toilet um which my <clears throat> doctor told me if I started bleeding more and um 
noticing large clots is what she said that I needed to call and I needed to come in. Um, so obviously once I saw the clots, um, I kind of knew what was going to happen. Um, so then after, you know, I came back out of the bathroom, um, and I sat down on the couch and I, I started getting some cramping, um, kind of like, I felt like I was going to start my period. Um, they were kind of strong and, um, maybe like 15, 20 minutes later, I, I just felt like I needed to go to the bathroom again. So I did. And, um, same thing, a lot of blood, um, a little bit larger of a clot. Um, and at that point I was getting really upset. I came out of the bathroom. I told Carlo, um, that I needed a minute. I'm sorry. Um, so I went upstairs and I just started crying because I knew what was going to happen. I was having pretty bad cramps and I said, you know, let's just eat really quick and we need to go home because my stomach's really hurting. Um, and he said, okay, he said, why don't we just go to the hospital now? And I didn't want to, we were over an hour away. I wanted to go home. Um, my plan was just to go home and, um, call my doctor today and go in. And, um, he's like, no, I really think we need to go to the hospital, but I kept saying no. So, um, we got everything packed up. He was taking things to the car and I said, I'm going to go to the bathroom one last time. And I sat down and, um, it was like someone turned the faucet on. Um, I was just gushing blood. Um, and I came out of the bathroom and I said, we need to go now. And I was in a lot of pain. It like hit me so fast. Um, I could barely walk to the car, but I kept telling him, um, I just, let's just go home and go to the hospital at home. I didn't want to go to a random hospital in the city. Um, <clears throat> but by the time I got to the car, I felt like I was in labor. The pain was so bad. I couldn't talk. I... I was shaking, my legs were shaking. I was gripping onto the car seat, um, moaning. I couldn't stop. I was in so much pain. And I said, okay, we need to go to the hospital now. Something is very wrong. So he took Oakwood back in. And luckily the hospital was just a block away from his sister's house. Um, and we got there and I could barely walk in. Um, and of course you have to tell them why you're there and I'm like bawling hysterically. I can hardly tell them why I'm there. Um, you know, I said, I think I'm having a miscarriage. I live over an hour away. Luckily, I only had to wait in the waiting room for like two minutes and someone came and got us and I had to explain it again. Um, they, um, gave me an IV, drew my blood, um, and then they wanted a urine specimen. So... Um, oh, I need to get a drink. <laughs> I like, I still feel very nauseous. Like, I don't know if it's me talking about it or what it is, but it's like making me want to gag. <clears throat> um, so I went to the bathroom and I sat down and I felt, I immediately felt something coming down and I looked down and I passed um, a golf ball size mass clot um, and I knew that that was it that was me passing the fetus um, it was like the most horrendous thing it was awful um, but I just knew that was it. It was gone. Um, I came out of the bathroom. I laid back down on the bed. Um, we're obviously we're in the emergency room. Um, 
and thankfully the doctors were so nice the nurses were so nice um they did um they had offered me Tylenol when I got there and I said I would take it because I was in so much pain but after I had passed that and I got back into the bed um the pain was gone I wasn't shaking anymore I felt completely fine um so it was like very traumatic because I literally like birthed the two millimeter fetus into a toilet like as graphic as that is that's what happened and it was just awful it was so awful it was so awful um but yeah and it was over and I didn't even say we got to the hospital at like I think it was like around two maybe like a quarter to two in the afternoon and um so then they did bring me the Tylenol and I like I couldn't even tell like I didn't even want to tell them that you know I'm not in pain anymore I passed it but um I just I took the Tylenol just in case I started having cramps again um and then she said you know I'll have to get an ultrasound see what's going on which at that point I already knew what happened um but we had to wait for probably a half an hour for the ultrasound um they took me down to the ultrasound room and that lasted for probably 15 minutes it was so long and um she told me since I came in through the emergency room she couldn't tell me anything I would have to wait for the doctor um and obviously like I already knew what happened but um I was like okay I understand um then when that was done they took me back to the my room and um we waited probably 45 minutes until um the doctor came and I was just so tired so exhausted that I was trying to sleep but it was so noisy in there um I just kept dozing on and off and then finally the doctor came in and she said um you know yeah unfortunately yeah you did um have a miscarriage um I looked at all the pictures there's um no sign of a fetus in there um which I had already known you know but obviously I started crying again and um she said just to call my doctor today, which I'm going to do after I'm done filming this, um, and get my um, HCG drawn in 48 hours, which would be uh, tomorrow, to make sure that my um, levels are coming down, because if they don't come down to zero, then obviously there's still um, like some tissue in there that they need to get out, which I'm crossing my fingers I passed it all because I really don't want to have to go back in for like surgery and for them to clean out whatever's left um but my number was it was 6181 I think is what they said and I don't even know what like I should have looked I don't I'm not even sure what it would should be right now <clears throat> um uh, I honestly, like, we didn't even know how far along I truly was. Like, I was measuring, I, was, I would only be measuring six weeks yesterday, but I think, like, six weeks and two days or something. But they go off on my cycle, so they told me, you know, I was nine weeks, but I know that I wasn't nine weeks. But, um, yeah, I truly don't even know how far along I was. I don't know if it was too small, it wasn't growing, obviously something was wrong with it, it wasn't viable, but, um just kind of crappy not knowing really how far along I was but um yeah so I'm just gonna call my doctor and <clears throat> probably go tomorrow to get my blood drawn and make sure the numbers are coming down um but I really I feel fine I mean um I was kind of numb to it all like I really didn't have obviously like initially I was bawling for hours but um I didn't really have like any emotion to it but then it just will like hit me um I did like I texted a couple of my friends just to let them know it's just gonna be um obviously I can't like broadcast it to everybody um well I'm gonna obviously make a video so most people will know but um 
like from like my neighbors um we just went to a um a wedding reception on friday and everyone was asking me how how i was feeling and um this is gonna be crappy the next time they asked me for me to have to explain it um and like at work um i told a couple people um but it's you know there's so many people that are going to be asking and like i'm fine until somebody brings it up um so it's just gonna be a crummy situation for a while um and i was just thinking like everything in the house luckily i didn't buy anything um baby wise for the baby thank goodness because that would be really sucky um but um i did like i had kept my pregnancy tests i had paperwork from my ob from my appointment obviously i have the ultrasound pictures on the fridge i had pictures on my phone for like big sister so i got rid of all of that i don't want to look at it um, I did leave the ultrasound picture up. I mean, it was just like a tiny little dot, so it's really nothing, but I don't want to get rid of that. That was my baby, so, um, I don't want to get rid of that, but I got rid of everything else. Because I just don't want to, I don't want to see it, I don't want to think about it. Uh, it's just an awful feeling, I don't know. And I don't know, like, how, how long is this going to last, you know, like, I don't know. It is really going to be hard to go to work because it's going to take a long time for, like, everybody to know. I don't know, and I don't want people, like, asking me about it. I don't. Because I just, I hate crying in front of people. So, it's just gonna suck for a while, but... That's it. That's what happened. Um, that's my story. I never thought I would have to film something like this. Um, and I'm honestly terrified to try again. Because this, it's bad enough to deal with infertility. But now this... So I not only have to stress about trying to get pregnant again and not being able to because of my infertility history, but now I'm going to be stressed out if I do end up getting pregnant again, stressed out that I'm going to have another miscarriage. So, um, yeah, and I honestly have to talk to my doctor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to try again soon, if I want to wait. I'm not, like, I just, I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I don't know how long you should wait to heal. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just kind of like at a standstill. I don't know. But I just wanted to share this with you. Um. I'm not going to edit it. I, actually, I don't edit my videos. My husband does. But I don't want to put him through that. So um, this will be an unedited video. Um, and it's, what, 19 minutes long right now? So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share my experience in case anyone else is going through this. Um, I'm sorry. I know how hard it is. It's a sucky situation. Um, I don't think that it's something you'll ever get over. It's always going to be in the back of my head, especially because of when it happened. Um, but, yeah, um, I just wanted to share my experience and let you know what happened. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be filming videos for a little while. I don't. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. So, hope you understand. Um, and I will see you again.